Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned... the war and thanks to judgment day I didn't even have to pay off my student loan morning Patrick came to me earlier asking if I thought you'd like his present when I saw that it was a single bullet I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now. Tell me, what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like... like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Okay, now sit. Roll over. Fetch! We've got a lot to learn. Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? Maybe... Wolfie? I don't know about that. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. 
My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, I can't remember the name of that band. You have a brother. I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies' man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Couldn't you look away? Well, there's no escaping it. it. Lit up the sky, lighting every peak and ridge in the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Now, what am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. Sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. What noises? Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Voila. Oh, jeez. Looks like a silverfish got him. They're every scavenger's nightmare. Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise, so before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I, uh... I feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some cheap... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care.
right now you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? This is it.
The others have to be here too.
is one of us. Private Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived, and I need to meet with Commander Baron. All right, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it, and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Now go, and watch out for those medals.
I'm on my way out. Good job. I can see the soldiers leaving. But don't think it's done. Skynet's sending reinforcements.
Oh, thank God, you're finally here. How did it go? Did you find the soldiers? I did. I helped them escape from that hospital. You don't give up on your people, do you? I like that. So what now? They're supposed to come for me soon. Great. That means that you're going home? No more scavengers constantly nagging you to do things for them? I bet you like the sound of that. Oh, Erin's still up too. Go talk to her. She won't admit it, but she was just as worried as I was. Do you need help with anything? <laughs> Is that your best pickup line? Sorry, that was a bad joke. I, I tend to do that when I'm stressed. I think I got it from my dad. Better that than his mustache, right? Oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me. Seems you were very close. As close as could be. He taught me everything I know. Sometimes without me even knowing. This one time, when I was little, he wanted to make a huge sign that said, Welcome, on the side of our house in Pasadena. So he said, I bet you can't spell that. <laughs> and of course I had to prove him wrong. Believe me, now I know how stupid that was. Not at all. That was very clever. Yeah, he was always full of bright ideas. Thanks for trying to make me feel better. After Judgment Day, my dad turned our house into a safe haven. A home for everyone who lost theirs. We were like a family with an endless supply of uncles and aunts. I guess my father wanted to help with the war. We never really used guns, so the only thing we could do was to help others in need. Seems like he helped a lot of people. He did. Right till the very end. Anyway, it was actually really cool. Everybody loved him, and he loved having them around. I think it's because he always had a brand new audience to listen to his bad jokes. He had this really terrible one. He'd walk into the room and ask if anyone had seen his remote because his team was playing. I always laughed at it. I'll never understand why. Was he a sports fan? I don't think so. He had a jersey that he wouldn't let anyone touch. But I don't think it was a token of his love of sports, or like a reminder of simpler times. <laughs> Look at me yapping. I'm sorry, you probably have enough on your plate. Anyway, thanks. It's really nice to have someone to talk to. No need to worry. I'm fine. Who said I was worried? I've been thinking a lot about it. And if I can, I've decided to join the Resistance. I'll do more good there than here. I'm glad to hear that. I just hope you're better supplied over there than we are. Speaking of which, I see you've got those antibiotics I asked for. Good. Now I can call Ryan off. I asked him if he brought a shovel with him. If you think that was too morbid, he said that after Judgment Day, digging graves was one of the few things he actually got better at.